Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use an iPad to control Tractor. Today we're going to be using an application called Track DJ Pro. We're going to give it a test out and see if it's any good. Right then, the first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come up here to your network button. Once you press that, drop down here to where it says create network. Click on there. It's going to open a box and it's going to say create a computer to computer network here it is by default the network name on this session is going to be mark's macbook pro so i'm going to click on create right then so now i've got an uh, ad hoc network set up on the ipad what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on settings i'm going to click on general Then I'm going to click on network. Then I'm going to click on Wi Fi. Now the iPad is giving me the option of choosing joining a network called Mark's MacBook Pro. I'm going to click on there. It's give it a tick and give me the all OK. So now I'm going to go back to my home screen. Find the application called Track Pro DJ and click on that. That is now open. Right then, back on the Apple Mac, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my spotlight bar i'm going to type in midi because i'm now going to create a midi network so i need to click on audio midi setup and it'll open this page here right then first thing to do where it says my session press a plus and that gives us a new session tick that box because we want to enable it down here on the directory you'll see mark kearns's ipad I'm going to click connect and then you'll see over here in the participants box Mark Kearns' iPad with a latency of zero milliseconds. Right then, I'm going to launch Tractor. I've got it down here in my launch pad. I'm running the latest version of Tractor. It's Tractor 2.5. Right then. Once Tractor's opened, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my preferences and then I'm going to import a file that I got with the app called Track Pro DJ Deluxe. I'll upload this file and leave a link so that anybody can get it if they need it. So I'm going to click on that open. I'm going to select everything apart from my audio device settings. The reason for that is because I haven't got out my audio to DJ sound card. I'm just running it off the um, internal sound card. Right then, so press OK and close that down. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch on the Track Pro DJ and you'll notice up here that the control is lighting up. That means that it's receiving MIDI signals. So without touching the Mac now, I'm going to load a track. So I'm going to press list, turn it around, and I'm going to choose the first one that I find. House, and now I'm going to press load, play, cool. Right, and I'm just going to try out a couple of the stuff on here, see if it's any good. Oh, there's a track fader. Very nice. See if our effects section's working. Yes, nice. Nice. So that's how you set up Track Pro DJ to control Tractor.
on a new Mac. Hope that was helpful. Any questions, drop me a line and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.